Hi guys, it is a gray and gloomy day. Here in the end times, in paradise in Garfield, Texas, on this soon to be rainy Monday morning, April 30th, 2018. Good God, are we one third of the way through this year? And good God, I am trying to recover from my epic six-hour phone call last night with a tribes member over there in Finland who shall remain nameless. The single longest phone call I have ever made in my entire life since the day I was born. Six hours on the phone with a tribes member. You know, guys, I, I would love to be able just to chat with everyone, every, every five, one of you 5,000 tribes members for six hours a day, but I do have some sort of a life otherwise. And so anyway, as part of that life, uh, I need to do my economic <coughs> meltdown roundup ramp for the day. But before I dive into that, Let's hear the quote of the day and the comment of the day. Who do I want to start with? We're going to start with the comment of the day where I just go into the Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag to see what's on the minds of Alert Tribes members. And we're going to start off with uh, one of my main lieutenants, good old Valhalla. Valhalla. Uh, Valhalla 56 uh, has death on his mind today, <clears throat> or what happens after death. After death, it is non-existence. After death, it is non-existence. Michael Rupert is not sitting with some angels up in heaven drinking a cold one and staring down at us as we scurry around trying to survive another day. I know, <coughs> Valhalla knows, post-death there is nothing to experience, so it should be nothing to fear. But the abyss is still one of the many fear-evoking aspects of life. People tend to find life enjoyable. People tend to find life enjoyable. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. An orgasm here, a greasy pig to eat there. <coughs> a motorcycle ride, a party, fucking Disney World in Vegas. Temporary distractions in between the rape, murder, and pillaging going on constantly. All the goings on up to death day. Then your party and hell is over. To me, it's all kind of pointless. Just people filling their time with various activities or survival until the grim reaper comes for them. I don't see anything to be thankful or happy about. I know people don't like that sort of thing, and that is why I am reticent in talking about it. Well, I'm so glad you're free to talk about it here on the tribe. My response <clears throat> to Val, non-existence after death is probably the only slim hope I have left in my life. <clears throat> why anybody would want to, quote, live eternally after death, or especially come back to this shithole for another dose of misery is beyond me. There you go. And Z3RO weighing in. <clears throat> People who want to live eternally have not truly experienced the horrors of life. David Henderson's comment to Val, I am preparing a rope and checking its length after reading your comment. Jesus Christ, 
I gotta smoke one for fuck's sake. Let's see, what does Scragnog1 have to say about the whole situation? Screw everything. <clears throat> there you go. Even without the impending man-made disasters, I'm not impressed with life, <clears throat> or rather the way our species has planned our lives. <clears throat> I'm just going to spend what time I have developing meditation and joyful states and wean myself off of <clears throat> materiality eventually and everything will or won't roll from that. Buckle your own seat belt before helping others. <clears throat> there you go. Uh, let's see, a couple of more. What does Maka Runner have to say about this whole situation? <clears throat> it's referred to as the dominant culture for a reason. It is dominated and will continue to dominate until its death. Or, I suppose, until the death of the planet's biosphere which in turn will finally kill the dominant paradigm. Either way, death is the end point. And five billion years from now, when the sun has had enough, <clears throat> it will be as though none of this madness ever occurred. Isn't that a fucking trip to think about? <clears throat> and this is Hector Lamar thinking about it. Humans think they are so fucking important. They are no more important than a slimy worm in a compost heap. My response to Hector Lamar, worms in compost heaps are saving the planet, not killing it. They are much more important than humans from that perspective. And finally, Phil Britton. <clears throat> Later is too late. There you go. We have been systematically poisoned for profiteering since the Industrial Revolution. Mother Earth is doing payback time. Our experiment is over. When humans fuck with the physics of Earth, Earth always wins. We shall see. It will be a photo finish. And anyway, I'm going to wrap up <clears throat> this comment of the day and come back with today's quote of the day, which I've read before, but it always bears repeating. Coming right up. Bye, guys. <clears throat>